Hello, hello, hello. It is me. It is me, your true heel phenom, SP3. I am back once again, unfortunately, for probably the final time from True Hill Studios with the three count with SP3 for March 25th, 2020. I am so sorry, folks. I've been missing out on a lot of different news items, on a lot of drama that has been going on in the world. Uh, the it's been a mixture of a couple of things on my end. I had the birth of my newborn twins, Harlem and Sydney Pilar, which I'm very excited and happy for. They were born on March 7th, 2020. So that's why I haven't been on the YouTube channel in uh, two weeks time. Uh, combined with that, we have a whole world pandemic going on. So to anyone who is out there uh, suffering, who has someone that has uh, contracted the virus, who has tested positive for the virus, I my thoughts and prayers are definitely with you I hope all the rest of you guys are staying safe it is too much risk out there I hope that a lot of people will remain isolated or take the proper steps to remain protected if you have to go out into the public you have to work uh, from your from your work location just do all the necessary things that has been told to us to make sure you are keeping that social distancing and make sure you guys are protected we guys we talked about it a lot on Real heat 66 just do what we have to do to remain protected protect those around us and take it seriously because it is a serious thing protect the older people in your family protect the young in your family and protect those with asthma diabetes all types of other things with weak immune systems because it's a very serious pandemic and it's changing everything which We'll get to on the three count with SP3. Before I get into the news items that are going on for today, March 25th, I do want to address the major changes and cancellations that have been going on in the professional wrestling world. I think the biggest that everyone is uh, talking about is WrestleMania being relocated. It won't be at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. It will take place at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, as well as various other locations around the Orlando area. Uh, very, you know, a lot of disappointment among professional wrestling fans. A lot of fans who were supposed to go out into Tampa Bay are upset. A lot of fans who were going to be watching at home are saying, like, this is not going to be the WrestleMania that I expect without a crowd. But I do want to commend the WWE at a time when the NBA, the NFL, all these other, uh, you know, companies for good reason are not holding these gatherings, not even doing empty arenas, shows, or games. You guys have stepped up and tried to provide the entertainment for the American people that are sitting up at home, the people all around the world that are sitting at home, remaining isolated. You are trying to provide them with great entertainment. I love the decision to make WrestleMania two nights because 16 matches in an empty arena. I would probably fall asleep by the sixth match. Just saying. Just being honest here. I know you are too. But I, I do agree with that. I do like the fact that they're doing that. And I do understand the financial reasons reasons why they haven't completely stopped uh, you know, all productions for WWE. Uh, it's for good reason. They have a lot of money on the line. And they've already lost a great amount of millions and millions of dollars by not holding WrestleMania in that big stadium. But they have TV contracts. They have to provide these entertainment for us. So I agree with their decision to remain on with WrestleMania at the Performance Center in an empty arena or various other locations. And I feel like they have been slowly but st steady kind of learning from their mistakes with their with the first couple of empty arena shows that that first Friday night Smackdown was god awful this the raw after was an improvement and then this week's raw was a major improvement because they actually changed the hard camera shouts out to Tony Khan because they got that idea from him they'll never say it but they did we all know it they did but you know good good job with making those changes moving the hard camera uh, more of focusing on the promos instead of like the wrestling matches still they had a very long wrestling match it was a good match don't get me wrong but it went too long it was like very very good like 15 minutes in and then it went 20 and it was just good kind of lowered as he went further but 
That's kind of my thoughts. Uh, I think everyone will agree the A plus show of any of the Enter the Arena uh, t- wrestling TV shows that we've seen thus far was AEW Dynamite uh, last week in the Empty Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. That was highlighted and main evented by the Elite versus the Inner Circle for the man advantage in the Blood and Guts match. It had the reveal of the Exalted One uh, being Brody Lee. Love that decision. I want to just say that. I want to just put that out in the open. I love the decision to. Uh, uh, make Brody Lee the big reveal and the exalted one. This is a man that has been involved in cults throughout his whole professional wrestling career. Before the WWE, as Brody Lee in Ring of Honor, he was a part of Age of the Fall, which was a cult like uh, stable. Um, Basically, uh, that was led by Jimmy Jacobs. It also had Tyler Black, a.k.a. Seth Rollins, involved in that in that angle. Uh, he's been a part of the Wyatt family with Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan and Braun Strowman. And now he has finally evolved and became a leader of his own cult with the Dark Order. Love the reveal. Love the video package that he did. He did a great job with the promo. Of course, the highlight of Dynamite was the debut of Broken Matt. Delete! 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 Broken Matt Hardy uh, debuting with ring, with uh, All Elite Wrestling. I'm definitely looking forward to his face to face off face to face with Chris Jericho this week on Dynamite, which we'll get into on the three count with SB3. But I just wanted to talk about a few of those notes. But let's get into the news. Let's talk about all the news. Um, my thoughts are with all the promotions that are really suffering during this time. It's been a whole month, and I've seen no New Japan. There's been no New Japan. Sakura Genesis has been canceled for the end of this month. Uh, We've had no New Japan Cup. Stardom has just started running live shows with an audience this week. Uh, Congrats to them. I know financially they have to go ahead with this. And a lot of people are questioning why Bucci Road is allowing Stardom to run live shows. But New Japan, still, we still don't know what's the plan for them. I I understand these are two different promotions. New Japan probably has the money to be able to cancel for this month, while Stardom probably doesn't. So I understand the decision to allow one to have live shows and not the other. It's different times. It's very different in Japan right now. Uh, They're still coming back from all of this. They caught on to this whole pandemic before we did. So they have kind of are more advanced than we are at this point. They've already started having live shows, already started having gatherings already. So they are on the improvement. So I hope that improvement comes to the United States. And the last thing I want to mention before I get into this uh, three count with SB3 is that like I said at the beginning of this video, this will most likely be my last three count with SV3 from True Hill Studios. We will not have True Hill Heat at True Hill Studios uh, this coming Thursday. I will try my best to either I'll go live on on the spotlight on the Pro Wrestling Spotlight as well as give you our version on the YouTube channel. Um, maybe I'll just host uh, True Hill Heat 67 on my own. If I can't get Miss Chrissy Love and uh, Top Guy JJ all together, maybe we'll work on working on Skype so we can all be it, do it together. But we are figuring out a lot of different things with the True Hill Heat YouTube channel. Um, definitely expect an all elite recap this coming week because my boys Jimmy and uh, Marcus had to take a little break uh, this past week. So they'll be back this coming week. I, I'm sure Ness ST, he's kind of trying to see what he can do. Uh, NXT this past week was all video packages, so he didn't see the point of doing his version. Uh, Drunk Guy JJ feels like he'll be drinking for every segment of Raw with no audience, so we don't want to kill him, kill that gentleman, so we've stopped him with that. Miss Chrissy Love's going to have two brand new videos from, from her family this coming week on the YouTube channel, so we'll still have content content right here on the true hill heat youtube channel but i just want to let you know this will be the last time you'll see me from the beautiful true hill studios for now as it's closing down like the rest of everything else in new york and the united states but i had to give you one more time so let's get into this three count on the first count i'm going to be talking about two wwe superstars that have been quarantined and caused changes to the wrestlemania card we're going to talk about news and notes and lineups for nxt as well as aew dynamite this week and we're going to be final for our final count we're going to talk about all of the wrestlemania changes that have been going on and what that pertains to this coming week when it concerns wrestlemania 
For our first count, we got to talk about two WWE superstars that have been quarantined. We are not confirming that these two superstars have tested positive for the coronavirus COVID-19, but we are we have confirmed that these two superstars have been quarantined. It was reported by Uncle Dave Meltzer from the Wrestling Observer Radio that Rey Mysterio as well as Dana Brooke have both been quarantined, which has called massive changes to the WrestleMania card. This this week, uh, two new matches were named on WWE.com for WrestleMania, the first being Aleister Black going one-on-one with Bobby Lashley. What the fuck did that come from? I, I, don't, I don't know. The bigger one, and the reason why it's been affected with Rey Mysterio, is it's going to be for the Raw Tag Team titles. The Street Profits will defend against United States Champion Andrade, as well as his tag team partner Angel Garza, Angel Garza, with Selena Vega. Uh, from the last couple of months, it seemed that uh, the WWE was planning to do some sort of four-way, maybe a one-on-one match involving the four Mexican stars on Monday Night Raw, which is the United States Champion on. Andrade, Angel Garza, his cousin Humberto Carrillo, and the legend known as Rey Mysterio. But due to the quarantine of Rey Mysterio, that caused the four-way to be scrapped. Uh, Also, the Street Profits were reportedly scheduled to defend the Raw Tag Team titles against AOP, Akum, and Razor. But on the last live show for WWE from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, Razor of AOP uh, injured his bicep, so he is out of WrestleMania. So that's why we have Street Profits versus Angel Garza and Andrade for WrestleMania for the Raw Tag Team titles. Um... I, I mean, I think it's going to be a good match. I think it's going to be a great match. You have four very good quality performers. You have a great tag team in the Street Profits. You have two great performers in Andrade and El Garza. I think they the more they team together, they're going to gel. They had a good match against Ricochet and Cedric Alexander this past, this past week on Monday Night Raw. Hopefully... Then the match at WrestleMania doesn't go 20 minutes because, I, like I said before, the longer that match went, the worse it got. It was still a good match, but I just hope they keep it at a very minimum time length and these guys go out there and perform well. As for Dana Brooke, she has been quarantined. She was originally supposed to be scheduled for the six-pack challenge for the SmackDown Women's Championship as Bailey defended against Sasha Banks. Uh, Lacey Evans, Naomi, Tamina, and Dana Brooke, but because Dana Brooke has been quarantined, she is now out of WrestleMania, and the SmackDown Women's title match will be a five-way match. So put your comments down below what you guys think. Are you upset that the Mexican four-way has been scrapped for the United States Championship? What you guys think about the Street Profits versus Angel Garza and Andrade? What you guys think about Dana Brooke being quarantined? And do you guys think Big Dave Batista? Is quarantined with her. Mm-hmm. So for our second count, we gotta get into NXT and AEW Dynamite. Both will be in at the arena for tonight, uh, March 25th. This was supposed to be the night for Blood and Guts. Blood and Guts match has been postponed. A good decision by AEW. Tony Khan has decided to postpone Blood and Guts, the event, as well as the the matchup because of the the new parameters uh, involving you know gatherings. They cannot have 11 guys in the ring at once for the blood and guts match which would be you know the five from the inner circle five from the elite and broken mat and the referee that with the referee not including cameras camera crew and all of that they've already exceeded the gathering of the mount so they have to postpone it which i think is a good decision i said this before to one of our contributors for the true hill heat youtube channel romeo cologne that i felt that aew i have enough faith in the AEW that they can keep the the inner circle and elite storyline going until this pandemic moves on and that we can have live shows again hopefully this pandemic doesn't go on too long i'm suffering you guys are suffering that's why i'm giving you more content for you to enjoy here but i just hope it doesn't go on too long but i feel that if it's for a month or two months the AEW has gained our trust and listens to the fans enough to keep it going and to create new storylines to keep us interested in the inner circle versus the elite so when we finally do have live shows again we can have that blood and guts match in front of a hot crowd 
The one thing, the one bad part about the Brody Lee debut as reveal and debut, as well as the Broken Matt debut, is that in front of a live crowd, probably this past week's AEW Dynamite would have been the best episode ever. Uh, lineups for both uh, NXT as actually are be taping from Full Sail uh, University. They won't be at the Performance Center. They'll be back in Full Sail. They'll be for for empty arena. Uh, no news and notes as far as like matches going on for NXT. The one big note that we can uh, for NXT is that Triple H will be on NXT this week. I don't know if he's going to be on commentary or he's just going to be you know appearing in front of in front of the camera. We don't know yet, but. They're going to be filming inside of Full Sail. Triple H will be there. AEW Dynamite, uh, already they have lined up for this week's show. It's going to be Cody going one-on-one with Jimmy Havoc. Cody will be on commentary with Tony Schiavone. As I said before, at the top of this uh, three count with SB3, Broken Matt and La Champion, Chris Jericho, will go face-to-face for the first time ever in a professional wrestling ring. And in the main event, it's going to be for the AAA Mega Champion. Uh, Campion uh, Championship, the top title in AAA, is going to be Kenny Omega defending against the Inner Circle's own Sammy Guevara. That's going to be a great matchup. So good lineup for AEW Dynamite. Something to look forward to with WWE NXT. And the last note for WWE NXT, the NXT TakeOver Tampa matches will take place on NXT on USA starting next week. April 1st. That includes the ladder match to decide the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Ciampa versus Gargano, probably the last chapter, will take place on live television. Uh, we'll have Cole versus versus Velveteen Dream for the NXT Championship, and there's going to be much, much more for us to enjoy. We might even get Finn Balor versus Walter. I'm debating that because it's very not likely Falter can get back into the United States. But every other match you will see on NXT on USA, something to look forward to starting next week and maybe for the next couple of weeks because TakeOver Tampa was supposed to be a six-match card. So they might spread it out over a couple of weeks, which is definitely something for us all to look forward to. And finally, for our third count, we got to talk about all of the rest of the WrestleMania changes that have going on for this week. Like I said, it's been moved from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's going to be taking place at the Performance Center as well as other filming locations. It's going to be taped for the first time ever. First time ever, WrestleMania is going to be in front of an empty arena. WrestleMania is going to be two nights, a two night event. And for the first time ever, WrestleMania will not be live. It will be taped. WrestleMania, as well as next week's go-home shows for for Raw, SmackDown, NXT, everything is going to be taped this week. They're doing seven straight days of tapings for for uh, last night's Raw, I do know the tag team matchup between Angel Garza and Andrade versus Ricochet and Cedric Alexander was filmed live, but everything else was taped ahead of time. Uh, they're going to be taping NXT from Full Sail. I think they're going to be probably, uh, they taped it last night, uh, Tuesday, uh, March 24th. Uh, they're taping SmackDown this week. They're going to be taping Raw next week. They're going to be taping NXT next week, SmackDown next week. WrestleMania, both nights are going to be taped this week, as well as the Raw after WrestleMania will also be taped this week. First time ever, WrestleMania will be taped. Hopefully, hopefully, (laughs) spoilers will not get out. It's a closed set. It's going to be only WWE employees there. So my hope, fingers crossed, is that no spoilers get out. Uh, they're like, like I said, they're going to be filming from different locations. Already named on Monday Night Raw, AJ Styles will go one on one with the Undertaker in what's being called a boneyard match. A boneyard match. I don't. You, you put in the comment section what you what you think that is. I don't know, but that's going to be filmed in a different location. They've already said the Fiend versus John Cena will also be filmed from a different location. So they're going to mix it up. Make it like a real movie, and I I think it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be different. This is going to be the first WrestleMania that's really different from all the others, and I'm very interested to see what the WWE is going to do with that. Uh, Like I said, with those notes, with the AJ and Taker and Fiend and and Cena, we don't know, you know, where Fiend and Cena is going to be filmed. Maybe in a Hooters like uh, the Fiend put on... uh, (laughs) 
put on Twitter before uh, last week. Maybe. You never know. It might be there. And then finally, uh, the last note from Russell Votes on Twitter. He says that Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler for the Raw Women's Championship will main event night one of WrestleMania. Uh, it was brought out that the lineup for both nights one and night two are on WWE.com. So definitely go up there if you want to see which matchups are going to be on which night. I know Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship will be on night one. So it's very surprising that the rumor is out that Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler will headline. Well, it, in my opinion, it is appropriate. The women main event in last year's WrestleMania with two nights of WrestleMania. One night should go to the women, but I don't know if Sheena and Becky can deliver. They disappointed at Royal Rumble 2019. Let's see if they can do better at WrestleMania 36, night one. So that has been the three count with SB3 for March 25th, 2020. Post your comments down below on everything we've just discussed. What you guys think is about Mysterio and Dana Brooke being quarantined and the changes to the WrestleMania card because of that. What you guys think about the lineups for both WWE NXT as well as AEW Dynamite for tonight. What you guys think about all the TakeOver matches being on live television for you to enjoy. And all the changes going on for WrestleMania. First time ever. First time ever. WrestleMania will be taped. In an empty arena. Two nights. Mind-blowing stuff. This is the world we live in, and it's all changed. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to end it off with the same thing. Guys, stay safe out there. Do what you have to do. I had to go to work today. I brought my mask. I had my gloves. You guys have to protect yourself. You have to stay safe. It's an epidemic. It's a pandemic. But we can get through this. We will get through this together by you guys enjoying all the great content right here on True Hill Heat. It is me, it is me, your True Hill Phenom SP3. I am signing off for the last edition of the three count with SP3 from True Hill Studios for now. Signing off until next time.